Let me show you how this club on the floor lined up with your lead toe might be the answer to helping you make a better takeaway, which might lead to straighter, more consistently struck shots. Certainly with your irons, super simple, great way of practicing this. I am loving this drill. So with the club parallel to the ball to target line, and I've got my, it's literally an inch off my feet and it's lined up with my lead foot and my trail foot here. What this line is gonna do, it's gonna help me understand how my hands to travel back so basically the path of my hand so if you're someone who struggles with this is a common one hands going out club coming back it's going to help if you're someone who just kind of whips your hands back in here which is also quite common creating these kind of actions this is also going to help now we want this club on the floor your hands are basically going to track along this line until they get to the club head meaning when i look down my hands are basically on the inside of this club shaft so my trail finger and thumb here is almost touching that line and what i can do in my rehearsal so in my practice swing i am basically going to track my hands along the line of that shaft until it hits around the head which is where they'll start to pick up and start to move more behind me it gives me a great feeling of how the hands actually at the start feel relatively linear in their takeaway meaning they feel in relationship to my body relatively straight because even though my body is turning that pulls the hand slightly in they're actually this gap isn't really changing it's then quite connected quite linear if you like where if i'm someone who pushes the hands out instantly i'm covering that shaft up if i'm someone who pulls it back my hands have come way inside of that shaft line simply by getting the feeling of those hands moving along the line of that shaft for a little longer is going to help you hit a nice consistent hand path now the other thing i want to do as my hands track along this line is i want to make sure that the head of the club stays outside of these lines i don't want my hands tracking this line as the club cart's coming violently in certainly don't want the hands coming in club going out but i want my thumb to be tracking the line of this shaft till it hits the head but at the same time the head is now outside of your hands so you're going to create these much more technically nice kind of takeaways now we all know the takeaway isn't the answer to a straighter better shots hopefully we understand enough for now that impact basically is what rules you but the more you measure golfers the more i watch golfers the more you can see the results of bad shots bad in impacts bad positions rooting themselves in some bad start positions which they never really recover so hands going out club back round and then whew, over the top hands back club out and then over the top hands back club back and then whoa this way in the big flip it's starting from the beginning outward so if we can get this first movement away from that ball a little bit more tracking along the line of that shaft with your hands as the club just stays quite passive and out in front of you you've got a better chance of getting this club into a better backswing position which will encourage a better downswing which for lots of golfers encourages better impact which in turn encourages better golf shots which leads to a lot more fun use this drill you can use it with driver and iron get that takeaway tracking a little bit more helping you along the line of that shaft for that first part of that takeaway you're going to find you get a lot more better movements happening in your swing which is only a good thing if you want to find out how to add yards to your driver this video here's got the information you need to send it 15 20 yards further come on who doesn't want that